Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, you know what to do. Smash that red subscribe button if you are not. Make sure you click that bell. Make sure you are clicking the top for all notifications so you can be a part of the notification squad. There's two other things that you can do to support this channel. Actually three, you can share this video. You can also join the Chatterbox, which is $1.99 a month and you do have to be 18 years old to do that and then also i have merch in if you look below the video you will see the option to purchase merch from me that is also another way to support this channel um i will not say that all of everything that i do will go straight to giveaways but it does help fun you know little giveaways and little things that i do within the community rather it's something i do publicly or privately that's um kind of you know one of my sources that i use so anyway i wanted to talk about this little guy here and also about money um i get comments at least you know so many a day probably at least I'm not going to exaggerate it. At least 20 a day maybe where someone's asking me for Noah. Um, Noah is the most expensive baby that I have or have ever had in my nursery. Um, I can tell you now, not trying to be rude, not saying this in a bragging sense, but I want to tell you guys a giveaway with Noah would never happen. Also, well, no, even if I become a millionaire because he's such a you know, private baby, just a, I mean, a personal baby, like, not private, but personal, like, I just really love him, I don't think I would just be like, oh, let me give him away, um, if I hit the lotto or something like that, but what I do want to tell people, I think some people don't know, like, you know, that's why I was explaining the difference between, you know, silicone versus, um, reborns because you know it's easy for them to think you know if you're new like okay all of the dolls look real all the dolls are nice but I really like this one <laughs> more and so yeah most people you don't see them doing um silicone baby giveaways um back in the day um Dana from silicone baby she used to do silicone baby giveaways way back when Melissa McCory you know babies or whatever so this is my little snack book i'm going to turn them over and i'm going to get them dressed but i wanted to tell you guys that you know i don't get i mean sometimes i do be like girl what <laughs> like if you don't set yourself down so one time i'm giving away a baby but then i honestly i've been thinking about that and i've kind of taken a different stance on it because i realized that a lot of people just don't know how much these dolls cost. Like a lot of people are totally clueless period of what they cost and they think, okay, they're really nice. They probably like a hundred dollars or something or $200. Like, you know, when you take your babies out, um, I know a lot of you guys that have done it several times. A lot of times people go, oh my God, I know they had to be expensive. How, like how much do they cost? And then they're like, I bet they cost at least about $200 and you're looking like, girl, I wish, you know, sometimes I don't tell them. I just say, yeah, they're very expensive and I just don't say anything because I don't like people knowing how much I spend on my dolls, period, anyway, um, before everybody start jumping on artist's case about, oh, you need to tell what the price is, blah, 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 blah. I actually love the fact that the artist did not display the price because I've never liked that that idea um of everybody knowing what you paid for your baby and it wasn't because i was a doll flipper or wanting to you know resell them or anything like that it's just the way it was um one of the things that um i wanted to say too um is that i was if you look at the back of his hair because I don't brush in my baby's hair that often. Their hair will sway to one side or another. The way he is rooted, it's like he's his hair gets thinner towards the back part. And then it has like a little peak. And it's cut kind of different. But if it's pushed over, you know, differently, sometimes it does 
it can look on camera as if he's missing hair like the rest of my babies it's just something that claire does she roots the babies thinner as they get down further down um probably because real babies hair kind of sometimes starts to rub around that that um that area and they thin around that area so i think she always try to do that kind of look that's my thought process on it but you know sometimes camera may show a whole nother thing but i'm gonna put him on this little outfit i had bought it for another baby but i really this outfit is too big for that baby i didn't realize how big it was so i had to replace that outfit for another outfit for the baby so i'm gonna put him on this you definitely gonna see pictures of him in it later um i'm not gonna show these socks but i got some other little socks that i'm gonna um he's gonna wear but i bought some other socks for a baby that's going home so i'm not gonna show that because i think they're so cute and i think the mommy will appreciate them when she gets them i'm really excited for that baby to go home um but yeah so you know honestly you know i really you know when you start like your your finances change or not so much of my finances change just circumstances change my thought process changed um i guess you know like i say circumstances sometimes things come up you know um you have a little bit your money has to go in different areas and stuff like that you kind of start to you know may, may start to look at things differently so when i'm in this mode right here I, I personally, like, can't see myself buying, I probably won't ever buy another silicone baby, um, to be honest. I don't know if that will, if it will happen, so don't hold me to it and you see one pop up and be like, oh, you said you never would, okay? But right now, the way things are, I don't see me spending that kind of money on, I'm gonna say it, guys, don't be mad at me, a doll. Um, I, I love my babies to pieces and I just cannot, cannot see it right now because, um, if you're in the chat box, some of you guys got an idea of part of why, um, things have changed for me, but you know, it's just, it's just not feasible for my type of income to be spending that kind of money on dolls. Um, when I first started out, of course I started out low. And then I worked my way up, but then I sold, you know, two just to buy one. And then, you know how the story goes. You you keep building. And you have, first, the first thing when you're new, a lot of times, a lot of people do. And I can't say that you're making a mistake. Honestly, a lot of people be like, oh, I made the mistake of buying all these dolls. But let's think about that for a minute. If you had not went through all the dolls the different artists that you went through would you really know exactly what to look for now and what you want in a baby like when you start really spending this, a lot of money on these dolls would you have known now what you know known then what you know now if you had not did that like you had not experienced the you know the bad artists the good artists the good quality dolls the who paints nice, who don't paint nice, would you have, you know, would you have really, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, would you have really had, you wouldn't have had that experience, you wouldn't have that knowledge, so I don't think that that is bad, not only that, so you bought all these dolls, you sampled all these paint words, different styles, skin tones, different techniques, and all that stuff, and then you took three and bought one doll which was really nice and you got to experience that and then you decided you know i want another one so you took the expensive doll and then another and then another doll and you bought from there and you just it just kept going and going and going and going for some of us until you end up with this silicone baby and then you wanted a more realistic silicone baby this is my story and i'm thinking it's the story of a lot of people and then you sell that one for that one so it's like by the time I started getting into silicone, okay, so I bought my first silicone with all the money I sold from just straight my dolls. So that's like $2,500.
that $2,500 did not come out of my bank account. It did not come out of my, my income, my extra income. None of that. It came strictly out of my doll money. And then after that, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the black. It's too much gray. I'm going to break the black up. I was going to do gray, but I think we'll go with the black. But so I think that it was like a little savings account. But also at the same time, I will have to say that I kind of had an eye for the dogs, I think, because I didn't necessarily buy a lot of bad babies. I want to say bad babies, meaning that the resale value kind of sucked. Um, I didn't buy those types as much, so I was able to get most of my money back when I sold them. And so that helped. But if you keep buying babies that nobody wants but you... Um, of course, that's not going to help you when you get ready to sell because, okay, nobody wants them but you and you're going to lose more money than you actually be able to recoup. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't regret my way, but now, you know, I've realized that. Now, I'll be honest, of course, now, since I have the knowledge, I'll be honest, if I was doing it all over again, I would probably just save up for one really nice doll that I really, really like. And I would go for that. I'll be honest. Or I would get an average doll that I think that I, I would like and I would just go for that. Um, especially with the way the prices are now. Because prices are so high right now to where I honestly, I just, I just couldn't do what I did in the beginning. Like I really you know I'm trying to get this I really was able to buy really nice quality dolls for you know a fraction of what they cost today so unless you really just have it like that um it's not gonna be easy peasy to um it's not gonna be easy peasy to just you know keep buying and selling buying and selling you're actually going to be losing more money so that's why i say i would kind of save up do a layaway and the only way i'll do a layaway i won't do no real long layaway because people disappear people go away and so will your money and the doll um only if it's a like a reputable um artist that's been in the community for a long time or someone that i trust is not gonna like disappear on me um i mean it's never no guarantees but that's you know that's what i would do because this hobby of course like i said it's a, it's always been expensive but it is so expensive now i mean the average person just cannot afford this hobby and so i am really really trying to hold on to what i have and um so i don't plan on selling any of my silicones for sure because, you know, as you guys know, they were painted by my favorite artist and sculptor, um, which is Claire Teller. And that's another thing. I should have said this in the beginning of the video because a lot of you guys are probably not still here. But for those that are interested in Noah and don't really fully understand what I'm talking about, go visit Claire Teller's website um, at ClaireTellerDolls.com. And you will see where her prices are and the price ranges of her dolls. Even if she has none available, if you see what she does have available or what they start at and all that stuff, you will have an idea of why, you know, people get so offended when you say, can you do a giveaway with that baby or can I have him or such and such and such. Um, then you'll kind of understand that. But at the same time, I know people are new and they don't really fully get it. And I know also, guys, I don't say this as a bragging thing you know this is a thing now you're like is you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't like if you say oh i don't i spend this kind of money or i spend that kind of money or i don't want to spend this kind of money or that kind of money you know it's like oh she's just bragging she just want to say that she has a clear teller doll or she has this kind of doll or that kind of doll which i don't really get that from a lot of people like people don't feel that way about me they don't feel feel like they don't feel like I'm bragging. Um, I've never been that type of collector or YouTuber. Um, I keep I keep it very simple. 
simple and basic because that's just who I am. And part of why I keep that, why I'm like that, a lot of people are like, oh, you're one of the most humble people and stuff. Guys, the reason why is because I'm the same as you. I mean, we're all the same for the most part. You know, people, some people may think they're better than us, but <laughs> the devil is a liar and the truth ain't in them. But, um, yeah, we, we, I'm definitely more of the average to the low end collector. Rather people want to believe me or not. I just had some great opportunities and I just, things happen and fell in place. You know, at the right time I was able to, you know, sell my dolls and not lose money. And, um, and then, you know, I, I had a good eye for, you know, good investments in the dolls that I invested in. When I resold them, I didn't lose money. And a lot of collectors lose, lose money when they sell. And that's why they can't, you know, you know, buy more babies. But I was just blessed to not really experience that as much. I have lost money, don't get me wrong, but not as much as most people would. Um, but I never, I ne to be honest, this is this is the truth. Let me see what time it is. Cause, um, oh yeah, I'm already over my time, but this is the truth. I've never been able to truly afford this hobby. Um, I've always had to do other things to make it work to where I got the babies that I wanted. Um, this hobby has always been very expensive and um, I will say this and I probably shouldn't really admit to this but I'll be honest. One of the other things too that I shouldn't leave out is that I have my um, life partner actually blessed me with so many different avenues to where I had extra money at the time and I was investing it in my dolls. And I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. I'm going to come back and do a part two. One minute. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to get your merch. Don't forget to sign up for the chatterbox. And I'll talk to you in the next video.